Hi there, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Carlson's Lab. Today we're going to try something new. We're going to try a thing called Viewer's Choice. It worked out very well with the last depotting video. So in this episode, on the old time workbench, I have a few pieces of gear that we're going to look over. In the comments below, you can leave the choice that you would like to see restored or repaired in the next video. If there's an overwhelming amount of people that choose one particular item, that will be the next item that we restore or repair. Now, all the items in that room are going to be restored or repaired at some time. It just gives you the choice to say, okay, I would like to see this piece restored next. So let's go give that a shot. Here we are in lab number two. And as you can see, we have a lot of future repairs restorations and alignments to do together. I'd say about 90% of what you see in those shelving units ahead of us here are all future projects. You'll recognize a few things that have been in lab number one, some things that we've done restorations on already, but again, 90%, the majority of what you see in those shelving units are all future projects for us to get working again in the future. Now here's the thing, when I purchase this stuff, I don't look inside of this stuff myself. So I know as much about this stuff really as you do at this point. Reason being is because I wanna experience this together with you guys. So if I pull a piece of this equipment open and rocks fall out of it, I wouldn't know any better. And believe me, some of this equipment feels like there's rocks inside of it, it's so heavy. Now if that isn't enough, we also have all of this equipment to restore, repair, align, all that kind of stuff. So there's a lot of stuff to do here in the near future. We've got lots of projects to keep us busy for a very long time. Now that isn't it. There's another side that's double-sided shelving. There's stuff on the other side of the shelving, and there's a complete other area full of this equipment as well. So there's no shortage in repairs, restorations, or alignments here. And here's the thing, when any of this equipment comes to my lab, it is going to work again. So all of this stuff will be restored. It doesn't have a choice. Those two older radios that you see there were a very neat purchase. Just beautiful dials on them. Right in the center of the dial, there's a magic eye tube. Now, they've done some really neat things in these radios. The dial itself looks static. Everything just looks like it stays still, but when you tune the dial, there's little arrows that are lit up, different colors that move around and point to the frequencies in these radios. The dial has a sunburst design to it, just did a really nice job. So those will be some really neat restorations coming in the future. Got that really, really large center dial in the middle as well. Very interesting build. So I don't wanna really spoil the surprise on those things, so we'll encounter those things here in the very near future. The things that we're gonna take a look at today and choose from so you guys can vote on this stuff, what you would like to see done next, are these items right over here. So what I'm going to do is just reposition the camera and we'll take a closer look at each item. And you can leave in the comments down below what you'd like to see repaired, restored, or whatever in the next video. The first piece of equipment that we're gonna take a look at is the Supreme Instruments Vitalizer. So this comes from the early days of radio and television. Even way back then they were trying to make equipment more compact, so what they did is they put a voltmeter, signal generator, and oscilloscope all in one very nice wooden case. So anyway, look at it. This is such a neat piece of gear that it should have a permanent home on the old time workbench. So whether you'd like to see this piece of equipment get restored next, you can leave that in the comments below. Next up on the list, is probably the biggest CB radio that you've seen, at least manufactured this way. So way back in the day, everybody was trying to outdo their you know, competitor with the nicest looking CB radio, and I really think DAC did a good job of that. Back in the days of Tram and you know the Brown and Golden Eagle and all those really nice radios, DAC wanted to put something out that just kind of stood above the rest with these really nice looking meters. They all light up and these here all display different things in them. I just think they did a really, really nice job. Now, you know, there's mixed reviews on DAX, you know, performance and all that kind of stuff. What it is, is it's a hybrid. It's, it's got transistors and vacuum tubes inside. 
So it's kind of a, a mix of uh, all sorts of different technologies. A very, very neat radio. Now, from what I hear from the previous owner is that this has been, I guess you could say, heavily tampered with inside. So that'll probably be a bit of a project as well. Again, we'll have to encounter that together when we lift the lid off the thing. So if you'd like to see that done next, you can leave that in the comments below as well. For the very last thing, we're going to take a look at this right over here. So I'll just get that into the shot and I'll be right back. This is a really neat piece of equipment right here. So whenever you hear the word op amp, you know, you always think of an IC that looks like this. There's four op amps inside of this one IC. Here's an old XR IC for all you XR fans. So there's four op amps inside this thing. Well, before op amps were like this, they were like that. That is a vacuum tube op amp. So if you would like to see a vacuum tube op amp operate again, let me know in the comments below. I'll take this out of the box. I don't want to spoil the surprise. I'll take this out of the box. Brand new device, never been used, original replacement op amp. We'll take it out of the box and we'll fire it up. Thanks for stopping by the lab today, or in this case, I guess I should be saying labs today. If you are enjoying my videos, you can let me know by giving me a big thumbs up and hang around. There'll be many more videos coming like this in the near future. We'll be taking a look at vacuum tube and solid state devices alike. So there's a lot of really neat repairs and restorations coming in the future. So if you haven't subscribed, now would be a good time to do that as well. If you're interested in taking your electronics knowledge to the next level and seeing many more of my videos, you might want to check out my Patreon page. I'll have the link just below this video in the description, and I'll also pin the link at the top of the post. Right now, we're building some very interesting test gear for the test bench on Patreon. There's a lot of really neat things going on over there right now. So until next time, take care. Bye for now.